Cole Sprouse. Plain Jughead. So Plain Jughead. We saw the pilot. Yes. Um, Jughead was not near a cheeseburger. Is that going to change in the rest of the show? Actually, of... it's funny. He was, but it was demolished on his actual plate. I don't know. I don't know if the shots they used showed it too much, but um, he's he's still eating quite a bit. We don't want to we don't want to beat the Jughead cheeseburger over the heads of the audience members. Like, here's seven cheeseburgers, Jughead. You know, but <laughs> the the remains of uneaten cheeseburger might be there. He might be ordering another. But in terms of a, a, a pyramid of cheeseburgers, I don't know. <laughs> it seems Jughead has a bigger role yeah. in the story that is going to be revealed as the season goes. And also his character seems the most opposite to what it is in the comic Yeah, he's, um, he's, he's definitely an interesting character in this. I, Jughead is pulling, I think the jug, Jughead we're closest to in this is the Mark Wade of Fiona Staples Jughead is definitely the one that we're pulling for, the recent reboot of the Archie comics. But there's also a small little narrative within the old digest in which Jughead is a sleuth, an amateur detective. And a time traveler or something. Yeah, you know, he's, he's had a bunch of different iterations, but sleuth Jughead is definitely the one we're kind of like, private eye Jughead is the one that we're kind of pulling for in this. He's the narrator. He's always been um, an anti-authority, non-conformist kind of character. That's always been Jughead. Uh, he still has that fundamentally within this show. He's also still sardonic and sarcastic. It will eventually reveal itself. He's still the comic relief. Um, he's, uh, but he's the point of view character. You know, we're we're in the mind of Jughead. He's still the narrator of this film noir dialogue. So it's going to be interesting seeing him. We we want Jughead to be a more. We, I know that Roberto was firm on making Jughead kind of an outsider character, uh, a bit of a weirdo, you know. Uh, he's definitely the black sheep of Riverdale, and uh, I'm excited to bring that Jughead to life. Awesome. And uh, I was just going to say, how about your friendship with Archie? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so Archie and Jughead were clearly best friends. We, we wanted to give... Um, my understanding of Jughead and Archie is that we wanted to build a narrative of repair with them, where they become super solid friends. Because one, as as an actual writing trope, that's much more interesting. You know, if you come into a friendship with Archie and Jughead that's already super solid, they're the most solid best friends, that's... Like it, that is as, that's close to the comics, but it's not as interesting to watch as like a repair or some tension between Jughead and Archie. But they are definitely going to be working on their friendship. They're clearly best friends, even in the even in the show still. So they're they're going to be working on, it. and that's more interesting for people to watch. Yeah, of course.